Previously, we've learned about atoms and how atoms can join together to make molecules. Now we're going to look at the fact that actually there are lots of different types of atoms. And we can see in our picture here, we've got five different atoms here. So there are many types of atom. And so far, we've discovered 118 different, different atoms. And we're pretty sure this is as many as there are in the universe. We think 118 is the limit. So each one of these different atoms, they have a different size and they have different masses. Some are heavier than others. And we can see up here in this simple picture, we've got hydrogen atoms. These are the smallest atom. And then we've got oxygen and chlorine. These atoms are a bit bigger as well. So all these different types of atoms, we call these elements. And they're kind of like a species of a living thing, like different species of animals. So every element has particular properties that are unique just to that element. Just like for animals, tigers always have particular features compared to humans. It's the same for all oxygen atoms have the same features compared to another element. So we can say elements are a type of atom with the same properties or features. So once scientists started discovering lots of different elements, they decided let's give them symbols to make them a bit easier to write because some of them have really long names and it's easier to just give them a symbol. So here are some common different elements. We've got hydrogen, which is a gas, and we have to keep it in cylinders if we want to store it, otherwise it will just fly away into the atmosphere. And hydrogen has, if we just put our heading here, hydrogen has an atomic symbol of H. Usually the chemical symbol or the atomic symbol is just the letter that the word starts with. So if we look at carbon, carbon is what makes up the lead in your pencil. It's crumbly and it's a grey colour. Carbon has the chemical symbol for of C. Some other elements though, they have two letters as their atomic symbol. So chlorines is Cl. And that's because carbon already had the symbol for C, so chlorine was discovered later, so scientists thought, let's use two letters instead. And that gets around that problem. 